I promise. We're trying to pick them up this week. They'll be here next. You promise? Yes, I promise. I promise. I'm counting on you. They're they're counting on you. I promise. Last week, we mentioned to you, in fact, we promise we are going to uphold our promise. Let's go take a look at those apricots that came in, huh? Carlos, why don't you go ahead and take it away? Hey, some's better than none, right? We finally got it in this week. Like we mentioned last week, apricots are usually first to hit the market. This season just wasn't like any other season. Let's talk about five. Count them. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Things you didn't know about apricots. So let's jump right into it. Intellectual science will disagree that apricot is a fruit. Some will even say that an apricot is a tree. Is that true? Hang on. Yep, it's true. Apricot is technically a tree. We've been lied to your whole life. What are you going to do about it? Apricot refers to a tree from the genus Prunus or Stumpfruit. In this genus Prunus, there are several species of these various species. There is a specific species known as Armenesia. The fruit of this species is known as apricot. There really is not a unanimous decision on the origin of the apricot. Some give the crown to Armenia. Some say China was the first, while some say the apricot originated somewhere in 3000 BC. What is known is no one really knows. Fun fact about the apricots produced right here in America, that the apricot seedlings are from Spanish missionaries carried to the West Coast. California knows how to pop leads commercial production of the apricots. 95% primarily comes from California, while Washington and Utah contribute that last 5%. January the 9th, is actually National Apricot Day. Now I know what you're thinking. How can we rectify this? Next January 9th, you stand with me and we will have our National Apricot Day. Health-wise, the apricot are rich in soluble fiber. Rich. And you know what soluble fiber does. Eh? 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 But aside from that, that soluble fiber actually helps break down fatty acids in the body. Here's some other health notes. Apricots also reduce the LDL cholesterol content in the body and help reduce increase HDL to good cholesterol. This helps with the prevention of cardiovascular disorders. In case you didn't know, apricots are also a good source of potassium. Potassium is required to maintain a good electrolyte balance in the body. If this balance is disturbed, heart muscles fail and work properly. Hence, apricots are really good for the heart. And there you have it. So glad you waited a week talking about apricots. I couldn't have done it without you. Don't forget, sometime this month, we'll update fresh peas from Sides Peas Farm. You don't want to miss out on that. And we do these videos every Thursday night. Don't forget to reach out to your customer service and sales representative. If you have any questions at all, you can also find us on any of our social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and even LinkedIn. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next week.